the channel welcome back to matty j plays and we are going to be doing my society and a new course walkthrough but i just wanted to quickly show you as you've probably seen a few of my previous videos i've been moaning about my golf bag and not having enough length in the bag for playing on the the tour the tz tours courses so i have switched a few things up i've increased the length of my five wood um only by i think three or four yards so it's gone from 233 i think to 236 and I have replaced my six iron with a three iron and put a bit more length on a three iron. So I now have 20 yard gap from seven iron up. So 170, 190, 203, 290, 236, 253. We'll see how this goes. <clears throat> it's an experiment. I can always swap back, but I just felt I needed more in a 200 plus range and more options, more variety. So that's what I've done. But today, anyway, in my society, and it, which is called Play Matty J, we are on a Mark Davis course, or as he calls himself, Dark Maybe 78, the Cotton Club. It is um, a par 72, four pins, three tees, black tees, playing the youngest, longest, at 7,462 yards. And I believe I have set it up to be the black tees, pin set three and all as the diner designer intended. So let's get in. I think I've had a few Mark Davis's course on the society before. So let's give it a go. If you do want to join guys, it's play space Matt underscore E underscore J. If you want to search for society and jump in. Welcome to the game. Okay, My looks name pretty, lots of colors. And uh, just very pleased to be out here for a round of PGA Tour 2K See how I'm swinging today. And today's course starts with a Should be all right. Should cling on to the right hand side of this fairway. It's going to be an awkward foot in from here. From it's a trend I've seen in a lot of courses designed lately is these fairways on a wonk. I don't know if they have to be this way for TGC Tours. I'm back playing a lot of TGC Tours. Um, but pretty much every fairway I play on now seems to be on a wonk. So. I'm not sure if it's my thing. But with the push and the slow, that should work out just fine. You'll be all right there. Nice design though. Yeah, Different contrasting colours. Not seen that too often. Let's see if we can start making some putts, can we? I've not been making putts of late, guys. It's getting there. All right, just taking too much power off that. Okay, even power. All right, pass that. See how the boys are getting on. Oh, we got Mike Heron in Ohio St. Mike. So he collabs a lot. Um, and I've had a few of his courses in here as well. So he does collab a lot with Steve Manley, one of my other buddies from the game. So it's nice to have you in, Mike. Welcome. Looks like you are tearing it up as well. So oh, you hit that one well. I've got a challenger. Oh, how did that not travel? That only went 165 yards. That's okay. Don't worry about wow. It. We'll be on the green eventually. Well, let's see how my chipping's playing today. Standard. Well, Never will make one. them. All right. I actually did make one earlier, actually, happened. talking about it. I'll say earlier. Oh, just some random course I was playing. Here's a nice par five. But we are even par nice course though. I like what they've done. I like this. It's a lot of intricate detail just mapping out your bunkers and your fairways and your trees with nice swing on what I'm assuming is rough. Second shot on the third. These fairways are quite contrasting now. I'm not sure. Not sure yet. Not sure I'm sold yet, but let's see if we can get this up there. Mm, I'm going to need the wind to help me out here. Nope. <clears throat> but is this light rough or heavy rough? Third shot. Light rough. All right. I'm doing that though. We'll do that with that. Uh-oh, I need this to roll out. Uh-oh. 
This has been a horrific start. Can't put this down to my new clubs. I literally only changed two clubs and I've not been using any of the new ones. So this is just bad golf right now. There we go. Off the mark. On a par five. Needed that par five. I nearly I nearly botched that one. Yeah, lucky. He's gone for quite a, a colourful or terminal. Oh, he's chucked a tree right in the way. Should we go for it, boys? Shit, I'll bust in it. Let's see if we can carry this tree. Oh, that fast is going to keep me out there. I don't know if I've put enough turn on it. I might have done. Kick right. Kick right. Come on. Ah, oh, if only the designer had cut the course a little better there. Okay, if you're going to come round the tree, you deserve to be rewarded for that, I feel. It was an ambitious shot. I feel I should be rewarded. <laughs> of course I do. Just need to get this to the hill. Oof, it's gonna leave a tough putt back. Gold. This is a tough pin. This is not a fun pin. Oh, and I have butchered that hole. Wow. Too much pace on that one. Wow, I nearly missed that par putt as well. Wowza. All right, not the greatest of starts, but I'm enjoying the course. I'm gonna say, okay, after that one, bit difficult. Right I think now. this has been designed with um, TGC Tours in mind because it's a tough one. And Ohio St. Mike is flying, Mike Aaron. He is in platinum with me. Good yeah, player. Is um, he is flying for it right now, so it's good to see. And look at this! You got all of that one. I'm sure of it. Let's go. All right, what do we got here? Let's catch this boy. Come on. About 165 to the pin. Coming in on you. Dominating. Hoping that fast will counteract my feet. I think this one's going for it. And that should shape to the right. And it does. Well, you're gonna like that. It's gonna leave you another awkward putt though. Six. Oh no, it's not too bad. To okay. We should be able to manage that one. Oof. Yes, that's perfection. Nice job. Alright, two hundred through five. We need to get to at least five under at the we'll turn somehow. Down. So we're gonna have to start motoring. There's Tuco there as well, five under through fourteen. Good lad, Mickey boy, Evans, Mick Rogers. So right, let's see what we can do here society. Yeah, I'd like to have some new members in here. Good to see the new and the old. Um, I'm gonna play it safe. Put myself behind this bunker. Hopefully, okay, I've got okay. a shot. Okay, this is about 160 or so to the pin. 167 should be perfect. Oh god, it should go over. I'm assuming the designer wouldn't put that there if he didn't couldn't clear it. Yeah, I expected that to be held up more with the uphill and the, and the wind there. So another misjudgment from me. And at the minute, I am misjudging a lot of stuff. So we need to work this, these kinks out. Oh, <laughs> well, there we go, guys. Quick, okay, take a picture. Take a that is a rare event. That is a Matty J chipping for a birdie. I mean, normally I'm chipping in for par, to be honest. But that is a rare, rare sighting indeed. There he is in this colorful right, wilderness. Down to three under the mythical that beast that is a Matt James chipping. Okay, let's see what you can do here on the seventh. Okay, I'm gonna try. 138, I feel, with a little touch of D-loft, not that much D-loft. It's gonna be good. It's gotta sit nicely, hop and stop. Nice. Hmm, yep. hold on a little yeah, bit further work. than I was expecting. Okay. And again, another Could tricky putt. On the scorecard if you drop this. Tricky ass greens, these are. On default greens. This one's tracking. Oof! Just clung on to that left edge, and we've got the birdie train underway. Here we go. Two more holes left to get to my five under at the turn, as requested. Let's do this. Ooh, nine from fourteen. So did he pick up an eagle there, or has he just birdied a couple on the bounce? We'll have a look. Okay, wind's picking up a bit. We got a headwind on this one. 
Ooh, I don't think you want anything to do with that tree. There's any need in playing all the way up there. Lay back, play the course. And this one's about 130 yards away, and five strokes off the lead. Yes, it gives you a, a trickier shot in, but I think it's the. I'm gonna loft this a little. I think it's the shot in you want here. Coming around the tree. A little bit of loft, a little bit of slow on the 140 will be fine. Should sit down nice. Well Here's a nine foot putt. Oof. That, uh, marks down your I thought that was going to overturn then. Today. Didn't see the turn, but it was turning all right. Down to five under par. Maybe that was my swing line. Didn't look. <clears throat> so he's double digits through 15. Oh, I say Mike, and only double digits for me is enough in this society. Not anymore. I was scared of that. I slowed it. Scared of those bunkers. Scared of a the fast there. Done. It's not a bad That's angle to be coming in at, to be fair. So to the pin. I think this is good. Just need a clean strike. I get a clean strike. That is a lovely strike. I should just kick on up. It's a nice shot. Great shot on the approach. This putt Do not want to be long here. Look at that. Straight downhill after this hole. So... Hold or in. Oh, Hoping that there. takes the break, and it does. Amazing. And there we go. The five under I wanted at the turn turned into a six under now, turned into a good front nine after a slow start. And after that, when you're at six under, one under through four, five under through the following five. Four shots back of new boy Mikey Heron. Tenth hole coming. Can I catch him? Or is he going to get his maiden victory in his first go in the society? Oh, Let's see. Good here. It is called Play Matty J, okay, and he is giving me a game. From here four Ooh, strokes. one of my new clubs could come into play here. Now I'm going to do something funky around this tree. I'm not going to put that much thing on it. I'm hoping with my shaping, with the distance. Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's gonna do oh, yeah that's John. Nice. You make those dirty sex noises, John. That deserved it. Now, let's not fuck this up. So far, so good. Oh, that is a delightful oh, is. eagle. And eagle. I am loving this course. It's making you think. It's making you lay up. It's making you shape shots. It's testing all nuances of your game. And look at my three iron coming into play for the first time. We'll see how this setup treats me. Um, I played the last two rounds of Platinum with this setup, so stay tuned for that. But I just felt like I needed the longer clubs in my bag, so this is why I have a problem, because my 182 would have been perfect here. So now I'm either lofting on 190 or de-lofting on 170. I'm going to have to go for the de-loft of the 170. So this is where the change of clubs has the negative impact as opposed to that last hole. Oh, and I've slowed it. That's not getting up that hill. Gonna leave me a putt. I'm on the green, and they're in. They're in is the stark contrast you've seen, boys. So I've taken one club out, which would have been perfect on this hole, but the club I put in was perfect on the last hole. So, hmm. It's a balance I'm gonna have to figure out for myself. Right oh, that did go right by John as well. And let's not give a shot back that I earned with that last club. That would be a disaster to do. This putt's tracking. Nope. Hold the oh, par. That'll do. Likelihood is, if I had my old clubs in my bag, it would have been birdie birdie. So, same, same difference at the minute. Let's see what happens here on the twelfth hole. Oh, can I get it? I think I can get it over this bunker. Slight fast and a Looks full like loft. A off the tee and this should take the tree out of play on the right, which it does. To the pin and four strokes back. Oh, that's too long and that is way too short. Mm. 
gonna loft this up a little. Mm, not too much. I needed to kick into that hill. A bit long here. Yeah, it's gonna be too long. Mm. And it turns needed to land a little bit shorter than that, but it's a straight-ish no putt, right? Here's what you're looking at. Let's not for go birdie. too far outside the edge. Looking really good. That should turn back, and it does. And that will drop. We're nine into through twelve with two power fives to go. So I imagine Mike is finishing strong. Where's he at? Twelve under through eighteen. Four for the win, three for the tie. It's not getting ahead of ourselves, so we gotta play what's in front of us. I'm hoping that holds this left hand side, which it does. I love this course though. And it's a beautiful course. Thank you. Dark Mavies or Mark Davies, whichever you prefer to be called, my friend. I slowed that. I felt that slow. But I massively, because I felt the slow, I massively pushed left to counteract it. I was quick thinking in my brain. Um, that was just my thumb slipping off slightly. So it was a good good adjustment, I feel. Oh, it's not taking it left, is it? No, it didn't take the break. Look at it all turning that way as well. Don't understand how that didn't take any of the break, but there we go. And that's what I mean. Can't get ahead of yourself. So I still need three shots in. And here we go. Par Five five. Holes. Oof, 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 oof. I feel you've got to be on this fairway. That I couldn't have asked for a more decent strike at that moment in time. Yep, I needed the perfect there. And here's shot number two on hole number fourteen. I think my two twelve would deal off the fairway. The green, as you can see, runs at it. So I'm going to go for this. Oh, I am striking the ball delightfully right now. And this should run at it. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. I can't believe that's still going. Sit down. Wow. Nearly an I'll be there. Nearly. Good luck on this one. We've got 16 feet. I just need this to just take the subtle left to right break that is showing me. Take the subtle break. Take it. Take it. Oh! <laughs> oh, Mike, I'm coming for you, fella. One shot needed in four holes to tie. Two shots to win. Have I got it in me? Am I going to bottle it like I do everything else? Tuko and Mick both finished under par. Good shooting, guys. This is a shootout between me and one of my favorite course designers with Mr. Manley. Their collab is a great one, so check them out. Alright, here we go. Touch a D loft, touch a spin. Wind's taking me left. Oh, not a great strike. Not a clean strike, that one. That's going to be not an opportunity. So this is one hole that's going to pass me by. Oof. Could have been too much to ask for two chips in one round. All right. That's one hole that's passed me by. Now I need one to tie, two to win from three holes. <laughs> oh shit, this is going to be a shot. And I don't, ah uh, no, I took my 180 out. Ah oh, no, oh, Mike, I bet you're laughing here, fella. Shit. This is where I need my six iron. And this could cost me the game. I can't quite see. Is this kicking forward or is this? Oh no, that's, that's yeah. It's not going to get up there. Ugh, no. Ugh, no. All right. Can't do a lot about that. Just get it on the green and give myself a putt. It's going to run down that hill. <sighs> it's a disaster. 
Yeah, that's a disaster, and that's already making me want to change back to my clubs because that's two par threes now where I haven't had the 180 club in the bag, and it's cost me. It's a shame. That is an absolute shame. I need this to dip. Oh, this one could drop. Don't dip that much. Ah, oh, no, okay, you shit. All right. Okay, let's move. Two on. shots needed with two to play. I mean, at this point, am I even going to tie him? <sighs> such a butler, mate. J, you are such a butler. Come on. Come on. Nice. That's uh, some solid contact. Let's do this. As always, guys, any designers watching, anyone got a course they want to see me play? Oh, not again. How am I between clubs again? My 180 is needed. This is a, this is turning into a disaster taking that club out of my bag. What a fool. Do you know who I blame? Tuko. Tuko was the one who told me to change my clubs. And that'll do. Grab your putter. So I'm blaming you, Mike. Bit of drama. Not, you not, not Mike, Mike Tuko. That is for certain. Come on, then. It could be a good one. Just killing it out there. That's your eighth birdie of the day. Well done. This back nine has been kind of barren with eagles and a par five to go. Hole, currently 12 under par. This is where, hopefully, after those two shots where I needed my 180, hopefully this is where my extra distance clubs come into play. Got to make this fairway. I should have done. Yeah, as I was saying, guys, any designers out there, reach out, want me to play, put it in my society, play through. I'll gladly give it a go. Ooh. I don't know if this clears that bunker. If it does, it's going to be off the back of the green. Ah, shit. Something stopped me. Something stopped me. Oh, I rolled into the fairway. The fringe would have been nice there. In the fringe, I would have gone for... The putt. But let's, let's do a chipping eagle. Come on. Uh-oh. Ooh, not a bad effort for me. <laughs> not a bad effort for me. But this is to snatch the victory from our newest member, old Ohio St. Mike. <clears throat> That's 13 and uh, through 18. I don't know why they do this leaderboard glitch, but thank you for the challenge, boys. Enjoy that as always. Hope you enjoyed viewing. Please do leave a like and subscribe if you're new here, and I will catch you all next week for another course playthrough.